donkey. Hiya, how's it going? Yeah, good, how are you? I'm all right, yeah. Yeah. It's so quiet. Do you want to come in? Yes, please, yeah. I moved to North East um, three and a half years ago now. I really love living here because I've got access to the outdoors and it's really good for my work. But I think, yeah, there's challenges as well. And you are, you know, I'm further from family and... So obviously some people don't get on with their family. Yeah. Like, it's not like you guys, <laughs> that's what I was going to say. Like, do you, you get on with your family, yeah. you do get on with them. It's not that you're trying to escape. I wasn't like, see ya. Right. I'm yeah. moving to the Outer Hebrides. <laughs> Um, this is all like my packaging equipment, all my tapes, all my cardboard. Basically, and also the nature of living on an island is that you just have to be really prepared mm -hmm. um, because you can't just like go down to your local shop and get a, a box to send the painting, do you yeah. know what I mean? Or uh, get some bubble wrap or whatever. So You get a lot done. Do you think you'd get as much done if you were in a busier place? I don't, I, I wouldn't feel as inspired. So yeah, probably would do get more work done here because I am just like so focused and I'm, it's quiet and then I could just like... Ah, you've not got folk like asking if you want to go um, clubbing or something, I don't know, I'm trying to think of... Clubbing? Yeah. Go to the disco? <laughs> Loads of people wanting to do stuff. Do people even ask if they want to go clubbing anyway in the city? I don't know, yeah, maybe not. It's I don't, quite an old word. Maybe that's me feeling a bit... Um, clubbing. I don't have any of that like FOMO. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's not the FOMO, it's the, the JOMO is what people write about in it. What's the, JOMO? The, the joy of missing out. <laughs> Have you not heard the... No, I love that though. JOMO, yeah. I'll, I'll make sure that we go the, the way so you're not going to fall though. I don't want to fall, no. Nice sand. Yeah. This is one of my favourite spots on the island just because it's just like so panoramic and a lot of the time in the winter you'll see the storms actually rolling right in off the Atlantic um, so you actually see it coming towards you and then obviously there's nothing between us and Canada so then there's that kind of it's like an impending storm but I love it it's like the light can just be so dramatic I make the work you know about my experience of being in storms or in immersed in the landscape and so it's got that authenticity in the depth because it is place-based and it's here. You're not in control here, the weather kind of dictates most things. It almost reminds you then to slow down and that there's more of a, a relaxed approach to life then because you're like oh well the ferry's not going to do like you can't fight against it there's no point. The dog's going for your camera. That's all right. Hello. <laughs> Right, go and get your mum. On you go. On you go. Go on. I think there's just all these misconceptions about because you live on an island or you live in the highlands and islands that you're remote. But I, I, the word remote itself, I don't really understand what it means because I don't know what we're remote from. Like, I think here, like, you've got this really thriving, supportive community where people are connected. This is the centre of your universe if you live here. You've got everything you need and you've got everything around you that you need. Having things on your doorstep like this is what makes you want to live here and this is why you live here. You don't really necessarily miss the busy uh, bustling cities or anything like that. When you're faced with a landscape so big and gigantic or it's so open like that looking out to the Atlantic you just don't really think of much at all. The open landscape just opens your mind. 